Ow. Ta-da. Hello, friends, neighbors, and motel Martians, which Elon Musk is going to wish he never met in a few years. Uh, I'm Eshkelar, the world's greatest Canadian wizard, also Archmage of Cuba and part of Australia. If you don't know why that's funny, it's okay. The rich human historical tradition still remains open for you, whatever your quirk is. Anyway, today I am going to add to my great store of mythical knowledge, my Mything Person series, I'm going to give a special special yes you can tell how special you are by how short your bus was and my bus was a chariot so this is a special edition of mythic persons and i hope you enjoy this today eshkelar roasts mm, smell of nuts on the fire plato the <coughs> greatest <coughs> classical philosopher ever ready okay plato who I will define here as a Socrates fanboy, an inheritor of his famous school. Plato's method and direction of reasoning, however, were not always particularly faithful to those of the psychopomp. So goes all low flesh, imperfect. Ow. At any rate, back to my comment. Plato believed in a separate plane of existence where all the perfect forms of every conceivable physical object sat quietly, pendently. Everyone patiently awaiting a mortal slot to call it down into low flesh. And I suppose he, Plato, lived alone in his little world of perfect order. Everything in its place, exactly like he, Plato, envisioned it. No dissent considered. Entitlement times infinity. <laughs> it's obvious in hindsight that he, Plato, Socrates wasn't much for wearing shoes, Never had to think his way out of a serious dilemma, like riding an escalator with the shoelaces untied and feeling that sudden existential tug. The only certainty in such a moment of awful clarity is, this is going to leave a mark. Perfection remains abstract. The mortal world is everything. The totality of one's entire life contracts down. As far as the great thinkers of antiquity go, I, Eshkelar, am partial to two, both of whom were satirists, brilliant to a fault, Aristophanes and Rabelais. I urge everyone to read the former's The Clouds in translation. It's still funny, 2,500 years later, and translated. Similarly, I urge thinking minds to carefully read Rabelais' incredible Gargantua and Pantagruel. These two works are flags firmly planted on the pinnacle of human thought and inspiration. Both works are perfectly irreverent, perfectly unreasonable, perfectly capturing the intellectual tenor of their times. Those two books will be in Plato's perfect world. But his own magnus opus, Republic, will be in the bathroom with pages missing. I know I am at odds with much of academia on this, but I'm not much of an academia nut. Yes, yes, I went there. This is Escolar for Mything Persons, here on the, what is this, the 10th of August 2024. Wow.